good. It's good. I'm so good, and I'm just happy to be able to talk to you guys right now. I'm happy y'all took some time out in your busy schedules to come in. Mm -hmm. So just tell us who is Meredith uh, O'Connor. Meredith O'Connor. Um, well, I used to be a performer with Turtle Shell. I used to, then I used to be a model, and now I'm a actress and singer. Um, but I was always a performer. I um, not only like Alexis, I am an artist. And uh, she believes that you should be that beauty and art is a great expression and way to impact people, and I'm totally behind her on that. And that's why I um, want to impact, especially kids. You know, that's why I think this radio station is great in in a positive way through my art. In other words, through my songwriting. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been an actress my whole life because I really do think that that's the best way to express to impress upon other people. Absolutely. So, what was your role in the in the film? My role in the film. I have a small cameo. And um, I can't say too much about it, but you'll just have to come and see it. It's uh, <laughs> it's funny, it's um, it's warm, it's light, it's romantic, and I, I recommend um, I recommend everybody who, uh, especially if anybody out here in the Bahamas likes uh, funny films, you should just come see it. So what? Where are you from originally? I'm from New York City. All right, and and, and please let the listening audience know some of the things that you have going on in New York because. Meredith is such a huge star and, and celebrity in New York. She's being modest and humble, but she, you, you, you're really doing some great things, and you're only mm -hmm. 17 years old. Thank you, yeah. So what is like? what keeps you busy in New York right now? Well, right now, um, I just signed with an agency called I Am Talent Agency, and they basically they have been putting me in the studio to work on my next EP. Um, and that's, that's one thing. That's my music aspect of it. I've also been touring and going to different high schools and talking to kids and meeting fans who listen to my music or who like my message of anti-bullying because I was bullied as a kid. And I um, want to make kids who you know want to be actresses, doctors, teachers, I just want them to know that they can do it. So I kind of spend my time taking my platform and teaching, teaching kids things with it um, because I had a hard time as a kid and I want to ease the burden of anyone else who's having a hard time. So that's it. I'm trying to think now if I was ever bullied in high school yeah. or primary school. I'm really trying to think back on that. And I, I wasn't really so much physically bullied. Okay. But I know there were times when the boy you got teased like. Right oh God! Right. I, know. I mean, I had it all. Oh, I had a little man. sample of everything, like oh. cyberbullying. Really, you name it. It was just right. like, like you know, when you go to a restaurant, you have a little dessert of everything. Except it wasn't something you want. So. And, and, <laughs> and, and it seems like it's made you a stronger person because. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, my um, my friend was like. Oh, you say that bullies shouldn't, you know, but, but all these kids, if they're bullied, they'll grow up and become strong like you. I'm like, no, 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 that's not the way to become strong. I know, <laughs> so, right? so I don't, I don't, um, I'm not thankful for the way I was treated, but I'm thankful for the way things turned out. Yeah, because I wouldn't say you lucked out, but you, you, were, you were fortunate <laughs> enough. To, I, well, yeah, I mean. And, and, and that's not the case for everyone. Some people really. Yeah, some people, some people end up hurting themselves, hurting others. I mean, that's why there's violence. I mean, the, bullying is a huge part of it, it's a chain reaction. And, um, it really is sad when, when somebody starts out to take the wrong route and they never find love and support the way I did because I wasn't always supported. I wasn't really, I never always had a, pl I didn't always have a platform. I didn't always have people who believed in me. But um, if, but I believed in myself and there are times when I lost faith in myself and I just want to make sure that people, um, people, uh, kids out there who are being bullied will be okay as long as they stay true to themselves and love themselves because along the way someone will love you eventually and people will start to find your beauty. Oh man, that, that is powerful. I, I, I really got to find a way to get you guys back on somewhere. Even if we could call in from the States or something. <laughs> What's that? Or we'll be back for Flip. Or oh, they'll be back for Flip. We'll okay. be back for Flip. And um, we'll come back for that. And there'll be some press and stuff. And, uh, okay. and we'll, we'll, we'll be coordinating because I'm going to fly Nathaniel up to New York and it's going to be fun. Right. <laughs> We're going to have good. a whole movie thing. Sounds good. Even just like when you seem to be very adventurous because I noticed like during the time, during the moments of shooting. Yeah, banana boating to the hotel, <laughs> uh, jumping off the you, you are, you are, I know, yeah, you were just moving story. around, and it seems like you've been having a great time here in the Bahamas. What has been some of the me most memorable experiences for you so far? Well, I think some of the people I met have really changed, sorry, have really changed my life. Um, I got to work with some awesome actresses who, uh, who are very funny and kind, and um, I got to converse with some people who really have impacted me and kind of made a difference. So I think the people I met definitely. Well, that's, 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 that's good to know. And I'm sure uh, tourism professionals in this country would be proud to hear such a thing. I know it's covered. Oh, yeah, you guys are right you now. guys are amazing. <laughs> you guys, I recommend, you know, um, when I, I, I have a YouTube channel. It's, we can connect on that, Meredith Tur, my name, and the T-E-R at the end. Yeah. And um, 
I'm going to put together a vlog of, of the Bahamas and behind the scenes just oh, so everyone can get a chance of how great a time I had and maybe they'll come check it out. Oh man, that's, that's, that's awesome. I really yeah, I mean, anything to, help the, anything to help your wonderful town of Freeport. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. So what's next for you going forward now? What could we expect? Oh, I forgot. Um, in New York, there's the music and um, I'm currently working on an anti-bullying film that I had no shot at getting in. They had, like, just like Nathaniel's film, everybody wanted to be part of it. You, yeah. you know, he was saying, you know, like, two hundreds of applicants, and this was huge. So the fact, I mean, yeah, I'm a good actress, but there are many, you know, it's a competitive, the competitive, competitive industry, especially in New York. Yeah. So what was the final straw for me was the anti-bullying movement, because the director and I bonded over that, and they're like, you know what, we want somebody who has fans, who has, who has who's a positive role model, and who has a cause behind their work. Yeah. And they found out that I worked with Reach Out, and it gets better, and a bunch of different organizations. And they said Meredith O'Connor is against bullying, wow. so we can use that platform. So it's called Redhead Randy, okay. and it's a horror film. And we're, I'm working on that back in New York. So um, that's another that's another thing. And uh, it's been it's been super crazy. We've been like filming crazy hours and stuff. But it's it's been a really good ride. And um, if this movie impacts people, uh, my job is done. If Redhead Randy impacts people, my job is done. Well, all I gotta say, I hope like through Nathaniel we find a way in which we could even bring that movie over here to Grand Bahama and to Red the Bahamas Red, yeah. and really have that film and distribute it in this market because yeah. I believe that theme of bullying and that message could be so uh, effective anywhere. It's a universal message. You are bullies and people who are victims of bullying all around the world and especially in the Bahamas as well. I right. have um, persons in my family and people I know who are having a really hard time in school right now as mm -hmm. a result of bullies. And so, Meredith, we wish you all the best going forward. Youth Expressions is here to support you tooth and nail every step of the way. Just let us know we've connected, so just let me know if there's any way I can assist you going forward. Even same, here. same here. And, and we'll do. And, I'm uh, happy to be here. Thank you. No, and we, we're happy to see you. We, we really, you guys made this show such a great show. Um, in addition to what Quinn is talking about, we're talking about creative industries, the film, the travel. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. So keep up your great work, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay. Thank right. you very much. Not a problem. And so what we'll do right now, we'll just continue our conversation with Quinn, and we'll finish, finish up the interview and, with, with him as we prepare to bring the show to a close in a couple minutes. So he can get yeah, that right now.